So what's up guys? I just spent the whole afternoon running around doing so many stupid errands everywhere and I'm just so sick of it. But I'm happy to be finally at the garage. I still have to run out and do a few more, but I want to get some things done on the 240 just to clear my head. So day three or four, whatever it is, of the budget drift car build. I'm super excited. So today we're working back in the engine bay. So two videos ago, I actually asked you guys what I should do about the arches, if I should just cut them out, if I should tub them, if I should patch them, blah, blah. It seems like a lot of you guys are interested in the tubs. And if people don't know what tubs is, tubs it's essentially when you cut out this whole piece and put a trailer fender or an arch right here and basically makes it a arch box. So we're gonna do that today. Uh, th this allows you to have a lot more clearance with your wheel. So when you have like wider wheels and you're at a lot of angle, you tend to hit the inside of here. So this will, uh, you know, raise it and give you some more room uh, in the future. The first thing we gotta do is cut out the factory tubs. So this is gonna be fun. Well, there's no turning back now. All right, so both sides are now cut out. That was not the funnest thing in the world, I'll tell you that, but we are all set. Now, I want some guys actually cut up the whole entire strut tower right here, but I think we should be fine. I don't really want to reinforce this because you really should. Um, so anything past here isn't too structural. Uh, same with this, uh, a lot of guys will cut it all the way up to here, but then it gets really flimsy. This arch right here actually helps support it very well. So I'm going to see if I can keep as much of this as possible. I'm probably going to cut a little bit more once I mock the top up itself. And same for the radio support, I gave myself a little bit of a lip to weld to. And uh, we should be all set. So now I'm going to take a flapper wheel and just clean up the edges uh, while it's all out now. Make it all smooth and clean and everything and then we'll start mocking up the tubs. Nice and clean edges. Now it's time to tackle the fender. So for the next step, there's a few options you could do, but a lot of guys like to use trailer tubs, or trailer fenders, I mean. Um, and it's literally a trailer fender. And you could buy these online or at like a, a local Tractor Supply Co. What I did was I got mine at Tractor Supply Co. Now they sell a galvanized version, a steel version. Make sure you don't get the galvanized version because it welds like crap and it's just nasty. Get the raw steel version. And they usually come in nine inches wide. It seems kind of thin. People say you can make it work, so I'm going to try my best. If you're gonna order online and you have the time, I would order like something, at least anything bigger than 10 inches. Uh, I would aim for like 14 so you can leave yourself some room just so then you get a nice big arch instead of this small one I'm gonna have to make work. Usually you can get away with buying one fender and just cutting it in half and it'll be set. They didn't have that in stock so I had to buy the whole double fender. So I'm gonna have to cut out this whole section piece for no good reason, it's just a waste of money but I wanted it today. And they also sell, um, the arch panels for it already, you know, the just flat piece for it. But of course, they didn't have that in stock either. So I'm gonna have to make that. Just one more step, but no biggie. So I cut the arches off in a rough shape. They're gonna be a lot smaller than this, um, but here's a rough idea of what it's gonna look like. So it sits all nice and clean. As you can see, it's not really as wide as it should be. I need another like inch or so. Ideally, I'd love to have it mounted right straight with the frame rail and have this gap filled but I'm gonna have to kind of make it up somewhere I might some guys angle it so it like kind of splits the difference and you could bend the plate that way and it looks good but we'll still have this little gap over here so I might do that it looks a lot cleaner we'll see there's so many different ways to do this it's kind of driving me insane at which way I want to go um, I, if I had wider fenders my life would be a lot easier right now but it's whatever so Realistically, as long as it's symmetrical, it's going to look good. Um, it could be all funky shape and whatnot, but as long as it's identical on the other side, symmetry is beauty. So, got the gas and I got the wavy. Wavy here. <laughs> Favorite place. This is wavy's first time, right? First time. All right, we're buying a lot just in case. You're buying a lot? A lot of steel. It goes up to 500. Till next time. Wavy, what do you think? First time experience, thumbs up. <laughs> Trying to figure out where we want to give and take some metal to make our life a little bit easier. Uh, we're looking at a few designs, like I said, it's not gonna look bad as long as it's symmetrical, um, but 
before we even have to start cutting any of the tubs, we kind of have to make a base for it. And I need to patch both strut towers on the car anyways. So I'm thinking about basically just running a patch that goes all the way back to the front of the car and then using that as a base for the tub itself and a, pa a patch panel. So it's just one big piece. What do you think, Wavy? It's probably our best idea yet. True. So uh, let's start some measurements and uh, get to cutting some metal, which is so fun to do, and uh, prepping the surface. <laughs> so I traced out the frame rail and uh, hopefully we're gonna cut this and it'll fit pretty well. Worst case, we have to flap her a few bits away. We might have to notch it for the subframe mounts bolts right here, but we should be all set. All right, so this worked out perfectly first try, so I'm pretty stoked. So you guys can get an idea of how this works. Um, it's gonna create a side brace for the tub, support the rusted out part on the strut tower, and then go down all the way to the rear brace, so. Sweet, I got lucky on that one. Hopefully I can get lucky on this one. We got the passenger side one. This one took a little while. Um, wasn't cut as well, but looks good now. So I think we should just tack weld those in now, just so we have a base, right? Yeah. So, uh, all right, I laid a few stitch welds in, and then uh, I ran out of welding wire, so. Ugh. So I got back with the wire. Shit, stuff ain't cheap. Um, I went with a smaller size wire this time just because we're doing body panels and uh, so we don't burn through it easily. So. Switching her up. So they're actually coming out really, really well. I'm happy. So essentially, uh, at first, we're just supposed to tack them in all around. I kind of went a little OD. You don't need that many to start off with to hold it in place. And then once everything's in place, then you can kind of just keep giving it spot welds until it is fully welded up. And if you want to, you could seam over it, flapper it, whatever, or just leave it. So I'm going to leave it like this for now until everything is in the bay. And I have everything all mocked up. And I'm just going to spend a couple hours in the bay finishing all the welds. But I'm really happy on how this looks. Chip showed up, and uh, he's working on his little roof spoiler. Here, 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 Show him what I'm working on, dude. I just missed a bunch of filming because I've just been going hard trying to get this together. So it's kind of driving me insane. These smaller tubs make it really weird because I'm trying to fill as much gap with it as possible because that's a lot less metal I have to lay and I'll make it look a lot cleaner. So I made a little template of the strut tower itself, um, of the arch at a cardboard and I completely lost it, but I, I used that, traced it in the tub, and then I tacked it to the tower, and I made a quick base plate, and I tacked it to that, and it looks pretty good so far. So, this line right here, I traced this using a piece of cardboard initially, so, that, so I didn't have to make a million cuts. Tacked in place, and I put a base plate up front uh, so I could have a base, you know, to tack this to and seat it, I guess you could say. There's excess in the inside, but I'm going to cut that from the inside after I'm done welding it. And uh, she's in there. As you can see, it's crooked, but it's okay. A lot of S chassis guys do it. That's why having the wider tubs would be nicer because I could just fill this whole gap with one big tub and put one panel, and that's all you have to do. I suggest if you have the time, just order wider tubs. But uh, the, the nine inch ones do work. Don't rush it. So far. I'm pretty happy how it looks. I'm gonna now tackle the other side and hopefully get it perfectly symmetrical. Brought it a little bit farther forward than probably should have. A lot of guys like to leave room for possible intercooler piping. You really don't need this much room, but with the way our setup is, I wanted to have as much. Uh, I wanted to have as much contact with this line right here, so I was able to, you know, have an easy weld and make my life a lot easier in the future. Since we probably won't K uh, KT his car anytime soon. Unfortunately, but if we do, we'll just do a mid-mount setup. Quicker spool time. You think you're nice? Ouch. So, uh, first I'm going to make the base plate just so it gives me a nice reference point. And uh, I, I quickly realized I could just kind of make a small arch there. So, got it traced in the metal, about to cut it out and attack in place. But I'm quickly, quickly, quickly running out of cutting wheels.
I made my little like rough cut plate and I just threw it in, packed it up real quick. This uh, this thinner wire is definitely a lot easier to, uh, to weld the body panels with. It's a lot more predictable and it doesn't really burn through as much. You can control it a lot easier. So that's probably a common sense thing, but I've always just used what I had. We learn it. So time for the fun, awful part. I'm trying to make the other tub look identical to this At this point, it's kind of just like trial and error. Um, just trying to get them even, so. So not only do you have to get the top even, but we have to get the bottoms even. And I just want it as symmetrical as possible. I'm gonna have to flap her more of this arch out and take a few more inches out the back. We should be all set. I think we got it. It's a little bit more tilted in that side, I just noticed, but for how many things that have to be the same, the angle, the length, and the arch, I think we did pretty good. Um, it just, it was a lot of trial and error cutting. Now it's just back to tacking this in place and then just making sure one more time that's perfect. All right, I'm a little upset. I don't know if you could tell, this one sits in a little bit more than that one. Oh well. This is honestly the first time I've ever done anything like this. I've never really welded with body panels before, nor have I tubbed the bay before. So this is a whole new experience for me. So if it doesn't come out perfect, whatever. Can't do it perfect the first try, but I'm happy with how it's coming out. I can't wait until I weld everything up and then flap it away so it looks flush with the rest of the metal. It's gonna look super awesome. I gotta work on the side pieces for the tub and get that all done. So, so I just bust out the cardboard and made a quick template and I think I'm happy with that. Has a slight arch to it, which actually hugs the strut tower very, very well right here. And then this fit, fits inside of it. And then it's perfect with the lip that I'm gonna weld to here. And I still gotta put a sliver in here to make up for the difference. Got one down, and this took literally forever. I'm like bleeding and everything, but it's worth it. So I mock that one up on that side, and it fits a little different. So I kind of traced it and made up for it on the corners. And uh, we'll see how that works. I think we are finally done with this side. Time to hold it in place but somehow and tack it up. So uh, let's get it done. Sides are on and it's starting to look a lot more complete. <laughs> These tubs are absolutely ginormous. You definitely know how to make them that big, but I'm stoked so far. Uh, everything's just all tacked together, so I still, of course, got to spend a couple hours just finishing welding everything. Now what's left is I got to make these little sliver pieces right here. I wish I kind of made them in one piece, but whatever, on both sides. And then I gotta make a plate that basically slides straight down here, which I don't really feel like doing. <laughs> so I'm gonna make these little slivers right now, and then the sides I'll just hold off because I am absolutely exhausted. I'm stoked I got so much done so far though. We got sliver number two. Right here, about to weld it up. And uh, then I think we should be all set for the night. Makes it look so much more complete. Now the last thing I gotta do is the plates on the side, but honestly I do not wanna do that tonight. I am so, so, so sick of cutting metal and I'm exhausted, but the majority of it is done, at least all the metal work. Now from here, it's just a bunch of welding, grinding, and you know, paint, I guess. I'm really happy I did the strut patch and this all in one piece because it makes it look really, really clean. I'm super excited about it. Like I said, it's my first time really doing anything like this, and it definitely was a huge challenge, but I think I learned a lot in the past 10 hours. <laughs> so, definitely a good experience, but it's a lot to do. As far as the tub goes, uh, the tubs itself, you can get them for usually under $60 with the side plate, and uh, that will give you both tubs, and then you're gonna need a, a little bit of extra steel uh, just to do like the side patches, or the base patch and like the other side, and I'll probably run you another like 15 bucks. So 
if you have a welder, you have gas and all that stuff, you could do the set of tubs for under $100, which is pretty cool. A lot of guys, like I was saying before, they just cut it out and they don't put tubs back in and they just leave it open, which is fine uh, if you're just, you know, driving on the track and stuff like that. But if you want to, you know, go on the road and do some street drifting in the rain, because rain drifting is really fun, you're going to want to have tubs. And yes, I have a dirt mustache, but yeah. So, like I was saying before, uh, a lot of it is done, but I still have a lot of work ahead of me. I'm happy I was able to get this far today. Um, this is a tedious, tedious thing, and you have to have a lot of motivation to finish it, because holy crap. <laughs> if you're gonna do this, make sure you are ready to fully commit to it, because this is a project. But I'm really proud of myself, and I can't stop looking at it. But I guess that's really all for today. It's super late. Uh, Don just left for H2O. We're actually uh, all headed in H2O tomorrow. Me, Drew, Jip, Wavy, Bighorn, and Steph. So if you guys are down there in Ocean City, I, feel free to come up to us and hang out. Uh, we're gonna be down there chilling. I'm not bringing any of my, I'm not bringing any of my cars. Uh, I just wasn't feeling it this year, but I am bringing my Grom, so I might be mobbing around on that. <laughs> Hopefully I don't get arrested like everyone else down there. So <laughs> I can't wait to get back and fully finish them and see how they looked all, you know, flappered away and all the welds looking clean, so. Yeah, I can't think of anything else to say. So, you guys know I'm doing the Haggard collab for the Grom giveaway. So, I'll put the link in the description. You can pick up some apparel. And every $10 you spend puts you in a giveaway for a Grom, which is super fun. My favorite tool. My favorite toy ever. But, I'm going to end it with that. So, you guys know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe. And hopefully next time I see you, I will be at H2O.